According to the Bohr theory of a hydrogen atom, the minimum energy in joules needed to ionize a hydrogen atom from the n equals 2 state is what? All right, so Bohr's equation has that delta E equals negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18th joules. And then we have 1 over n squared and 1 over n squared. And this is technically the final and, and initial. Well, I know initial, it's 2. But it doesn't say anything at all about where it moves other than it says it's ionized. Well, if we think about it, ionized does mean remove the electron. So that second level needs to be something very, very large. All right, so what I'm going to plug in is something large. And I'm not going to plug in just anything. I'm going to put in infinity. All right, so for a moment, you're thinking, how do I calculate infinity? Well, I don't have to. It's 1 over infinity, which is 0. But it turns out this calculation, the only thing I have to do is take that 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18th and divide it by 4 or multiply by 1 fourth. And I get that the answer is 5.45 times 10 to the negative 19. But ionize just means move it to the highest shelf, which is infinity. And while that seems scary at first, we're not doing any map multiplication because it's an inverse. So as large as infinity is, 1 over infinity is incredibly small.